Okay, I know that this t-shirt is not the most representable one. Hear me out. You don't have to hear me out. The only question you are here for is, was Sami Zayn able to redeem himself? To be honest with you, I don't know. <laughs> oh. oh my god, okay. It's so exciting and not at the same time because we're waiting a whole week to see if Sami Zayn is gonna be able to beat Kevin Owens even though we knew that Sami Zayn is gonna not be able to beat Ge Kevin Owens and now we have to wait another week to see what's gonna happen because everything ended questionable and the whole build-up was questionable but anyway I'm gonna talk about that in the end stay until the end to understand also the best moment from this week smack -a -down. This week the show started with Gunther versus Braun Strowman. I don't think Gunther is that good. I just said it. I just said it. I know. I know. I just said it. I just said it. But I just, I just don't think that Gunther is worth hype. You know, I know that we're pushing him to the moon, but I feel like he's not anything special. Does Gunther even have a finisher? Yes. No, no I'm not saying that he's having a finisher. But yes, exactly. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'm not saying that Gunther is not trying or he's not putting enough work or anything. He's good. He's amazing. But his promo skills are lack. His promo skills are not like my promo skills even. Do I even have, have promo skills? I cannot even speak English. <laughs> anyway, but uh, it was okay match. The finisher was scuffed again uh, just a random power bump and Braun Strowman got pinned and yeah I don't know I, I, it doesn't click with me e everyone has his favorites and his not so favorite wrestlers and maybe maybe I just have some personal vendetta with Gunther I respect you Gunther if you're watching this video I love you I I seriously, I respect the guy. I seriously do. I, I want everything great to happen to him, but I just I just don't feel it right now. Sorry, I, something does not click. After that, we had Karrion Cross and Rey Mysterio promo. It was amazing. Actually, I, I dig it. At the beginning, a few weeks ago, when they started the whole shtick, I was not digging it. I was like, oh, what are they thinking? But right now, everything makes sense. Karrion Cross is decimate, gonna decimate Rey Mysterio. I don't want to see that, but at the same time, I want to see that, and I want to see Rey coming back. And Karrion Cross promo is so good, and yeah, I just, I just want to see it. You just have to see it as well. Great stuff. After that, the best moment from SmackDown. Zaya Lee was kind of walking on eggshells in her first 12 months here on SmackDown. Trying to yeah, Zaya Lee versus Tegan Knox. Uh, I'm, I'm spitting fire this episode, but am I the only one who notices that Zaya Lee is only losing? Even when she was on NXT, she's only losing. What is happening? What is happening? Last week, we saw that Liv Morgan is gonna enter first in the Royal Rumble. This week, a couple of girls were standing in a locker room and they were saying that Liv is doing a wrong decision and all of a sudden Raquel came out and he was like, I'm built for this match and you cannot do shtick about it. And Liv slapped Raquel and now we have a match. Liv versus Raquel. And do you know what happened? Oh, you guessed correctly. Raquel won. Next. After whole night and after a week of waiting we have kevin owens versus Sami Zayn. earlier that night we understand that the bloodline is not in your city aka Sami Zayn is gonna go one on one versus ko and everyone was like oh my gosh oh my gosh sam is gonna lose and he's gonna put his pants the match starts the match is great it's so much drama, it's so much emotion going into one match. Kevin Owens is trying to be respectable while Sami Zayn is cutting off everything. He, it's, it's move after move and it's so nice. And Sami Zayn is about to hit Haluva Kek when the bloodline comes out. 
and I'm confusion. Sami Zayn is confusion. Kevin Nowens is confusion. Everyone is confusion. And I'm perfectly aware that it's confused. I'm just trying to be funny here. Now we should wait one week to understand the Romans and the bloodline. Did the bloodline decide on their own to go help Sammy? Did Paul send the bloodline? Was that actually the original plan? What's going on? Did, did Sammy actually redeem himself? Is Roman gonna say that Sammy can get the job done by, all by himself next week? What, what's gonna, gonna happen? But we know for sure that Roman is gonna be on SmackDown next week. Yeah, because they're gonna sign a contract with Kevin Owens and we're gonna understand what is gonna happen. Hopefully. If Roman doesn't say shit about Sammy, I'm gonna be pissed off, you know? I, I haven't been so much invested into anything and I just... I'm doing again, again that with the hands. You got the match of the week. You got my opinion about the Roman Sammy bloodline situation, Kevin Owens. And now I'm gonna be signing off. Peace.